welcome to my channel with Lupita Aide. I am a single mother of four and currently working on my debt-free journey. I am so excited to share this journey with you. Uh, thank you for watching this video. It really means a lot and it will also help my channel. Um, so today I am bringing you my paycheck number two. But this time I wanted to start it a little bit different. Uh, for those of you that um, have been with me will know that usually I would start with the fresh sheet which I will but um, this time um, I'm gonna be um, just going through my November budget so you guys will see um, how this is coming along so for this pay uh, pay period my check number two which is what we're gonna be doing um, I just briefly put a yellow highlighted dot on what I'm gonna pay. And then the little checks is what I paid. So I'm gonna work on, for this paycheck number two, uh, rent, uh, dentist. I had it already paid, but I'm gonna be going to another appointment before December comes in. So I'm gonna be giving another payment. So, Condina, yes, I had already given um, 300, but now I have to give the 200 for my second payment of the month. And then for Valerie, I had um, given only 100. So, on this pay period, I'm going to give the other 50. And then I have to pay Costco, Capital One, gasoline, and food. Other than that, the rest, if it's been taken care of so i just wanted to show you guys how i did paid everything every single thing um so this rent here the total it's gonna be um for the month of november which i already paid um so it was a thousand and then for the phone the actual that i paid was 261 and then for my car insurance 127 internet 55 dentist i gave 60 60 or 80 i don't remember uh saint jude jam so all of these were this one i'm not done with but like I said, I'm going to give the other 200, so it's going to be the 500. And then my car registration was actually 204 because they charged 2% uh, if I paid with credit, with a credit, with a debit card. I went and I paid it on the little machine where you just go and scan the, the paper for your car registration. And I didn't know that they charged a two point something percent or maybe just a two point um anyway and then for valerie i still have to give 50 so that's what i'm gonna give my chase um i gave 155 because remember this one is on my snowball so my budget my payment was for 35 but I gave 155 because it's under the snowball and that's the one I'm working on so I had actually mistaken this one these two so I just switched it um, Walmart actually was 37 Costco I'm gonna pay it now a hundred uh, shop your way Best Buy Best Buy is actually 99 Oh, yeah, 99. Capital One was 40, but I gave 50. And food, 150, that's what I spent. But I'm going to put 200, so it's like for the whole month. Um, wait. I'm gonna give leave this one blank just because I don't remember exactly how much I've spent and plus what I'm gonna add. And then gasoline, I put 40 last time and this time I'm gonna put 80, so yeah, that's the 120. 
and then cash envelopes i haven't done cash envelopes and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do cash envelopes this time so i'm gonna leave it blank so i've been able to do cover everything except cash envelopes but we're getting there um so that's how my month of november looks like um so far everything has been going good okay so let's go to paycheck number two i'm gonna decorate it um with this washi so i don't know if you can see but it's just from air it's from erin Condren. it's gold white with gold and then this one it's like a hot pink it says to do ideas notes and then the letters are also gold this one i th i got it at walmart can so that's expenses here's gonna be our due date our expected actual okay so my income for paycheck number two was a thousand a hundred and one okay so this is how my page is gonna look like and now we can go ahead and start filling up our expenses i apologize in advance if you guys can hear voices in the background i am filming this uh, when my kids are home today usually i do it during the daytime but i went to school and i had other things to do and i don't want to wait um for tomorrow when I can do it today so let's go ahead and get started so my expenses I'm gonna do it a little different I had mentioned it on um, one of my other videos I did notice people do um, set aside money for their rent so because I'm gonna get paid on the fifth again um, I'm gonna put uh, $500 for rent and this is a trial i'm gonna see if it works so rent it's due on the first but we have from the first to the fifth and i get paid on the fifth so i'm gonna put the other half so today or on this pay period i'm gonna do what's today 21 so I'm gonna set aside so the expected is a thousand there but I'm gonna set aside 500 okay I don't know if it's gonna work but let's see what happens so or maybe I should have just put 500, huh? Because it is for paycheck number two. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So I don't get confused myself. 500.
Now my rent is 1000 okay? And then my next expense, it's going to be um, dentist. I have a, an appointment. Well, my daughter has an appointment before December, so I have to give, um, which I don't remember what day is the appointment. I just know it's before December, so I have to give another payment of $40. Um, I owe more, but we can pay in payments, so. And then I have my Colina, which I'm almost done with this. I'm only giving 200 because I'm on two condinas. One is for 200, the other one is for 100, but one of them I don't have to pay it because it's my turn to get the money. So because it's my turn to get the money, um I don't have to pay those $100. So I do I don't remember how much I'm going to be getting. I think I'm going to be getting like 1200. But I don't remember. Um that's why I'm going to be able to um, give the other 500 to my dad on time for the rent and that's also the money that I'm going to use for Christmas and all that but I'll do another video for that anyway so my next expense is Valerie her packet for her graduation fifty dollars and i am done so i'm done with that packet of her graduation that includes the cap and gown and all of that stuff the ring and all that stuff so and then my next category is i mean expense Costco, which is to um, it's due on the six, and I remember I paid it, but I want to give a hundred dollars more just because I. My dad asked me if I could buy something for him, and it was around one. Like one o five or something like that, and I paid it with my card and um. So, he gave me the money and I used it for, I don't remember for what, but I honestly don't remember for what. Um, so, now I have to pay it back. You might ask yourself, Amazon, yeah, my card of Costco, it's... Um, under my Amazon account, uh, account so that is why and I forgot like I told my dad I was like okay I'm gonna purchase what you want he wanted something for his car and he was like here's my card and I'm like no 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 no, I got it just give me the cash um and so he did and I spent the hundred dollars and then he gave me the cash so now I have to pay it because it, it came out from Costco card Okay, and then I have Best Buy. Do on the 23rd. $99. And then I have Gasoline. Sixty. So I'm gonna put forty on my car and twenty on the van. And then food. Um how many of you already bought the turkey? I have. It was cheap, like 
what it was like four days ago it was cheap i got it at walmart it was like 98 cents per pound and i got a 23 or 24 pound turkey i believe um so it was like what 24 25 bucks with with um i don't yeah yeah with tax and everything no they don't even charge tax on food I don't remember. I, I bought like another bear, a teddy bear for my daughter that she wanted. Anyway, so yeah, I I am I and I also bought already some other ingredients for my turkey, but I'm not done. So for food, I'm gonna do for two weeks. Uh, so including thanksgiving of course but then we are dividing um, everyone here it's gonna do a dish so for me i just need very little things i just need like onion and um i need two beers because i put beer on my turkey and i need um oranges i need a lot of orange i need like those like those big packets of orange that you know some people be selling on the street those those big bags of turkey i mean turkey <laughs> oranges so i'm estimating like the regular like 200 dollars that i'm gonna spend plus let's say i'm gonna exaggerate i'm gonna exaggerate and i'm gonna do 300 um So that's it. Yeah, that's it. My niece just got home, so it might get a little louder. I apologize in advance. So 40 plus 200 plus 50 plus 100 plus 99. Plus sixty plus three hundred. So our total is oh, let me bring it up a little bit. Now, as you can see, it's way more than what I have here, right? It's like what? So I am $248 less. Of my budget. That means that if I would not be on this condina, a lot of people be asking me what's a condina. So at work, um, we started. It, it, this is being. This is not new. A lot of people knows about this. So at work, we gathered um, people that wanted to join this condina. Now it's we started. I think we did ten numbers. 11 numbers we did 11 numbers so every person gives or every number it's 200 dollars per check so every check one person is in charge of collecting this money so it goes to one person so so it goes to one person so here i'm gonna do an example so it's 200, 200, 200, 200. So each person, right? 200. So every check, these 200 are collected, which is which is 
2,200, okay? Okay, there, you guys can see better. So it's 10 numbers, each person gives 200, and it collects 2,200. Once this money is collected, it's given to the first person. So let's say the first person is um, Jose. And then the second person is uh, Luisa. And then the third person is um, Karen. And the fourth person is um, John. And the fifth person is um, me. And the sixth person is so and so on and so on and so on and so on. So the first, let's say we started um, in January. So the first check on January, this 2,200 is going to go to this person. The second check of January is going to go to this person. The first check on February, the money, the 2,200 is going to go to this person and then this person and then this person. That's what a condina is. A lot of people call it tanda. A lot of people call it I forgot what was it. Well, there's many names that people use um, for this. And for me, I see it like if it was sinking funds. Only that I don't put it in an envelope. I don't have it with within reach. And there's and it's something that forces me to work extra so I can have to pay this number because joining one of these groups you are you have to come up with that money there is no oh i don't have this check or you know I'll give it to you next check no it doesn't work that way if you're gonna join one of these groups you have to make sure you have that money every check so it's like saving so what i do is i always get my number according to the date you know so um i chose to get one on november because I know that Christmas is coming. So this way, in case I'm sure, like you can see here now, that money that I'm gonna receive, I'm gonna use it to cover this 248 that I, I, I was running low. I'm gonna use it to cover presents, which probably I would have not had money for it. And I'm gonna use it to cover whatever other expenses come that is related to holidays, because that was the purpose of me uh, giving that money as savings so um yes i might be short but i'm not gonna worry much because i know that i'm gonna get that um that money i also get like i said i'm in two so i'm not gonna get the 2200 okay because i split it my number in half with another person so it's me and another lady so it's split it so me instead of giving 200 I was only giving 100 so when all of this money is collected the what person responsible she's gonna split that money in two and she's gonna be she's gonna give this person her half and she'll give me my half because I couldn't pay the whole number why because I was already currently on another condina which I am paying the 200 and that money I already received it but I continue paying it because it's over until January I chose a date of August to get that money and I use that for uniform shoes school supplies um, clothing for my daughter that goes to high school and I think I closed one card and yeah so this is I will call it my kind of sinking funds. I still use it for long um, term um, expenses that I know I'm gonna have. And um, the only difference is that if I was to have, and I'm gonna do sinking funds in the future once I'm over with this that I don't have to pay it. But I have the feeling that if I was to do sinking funds on in the envelopes and if I was to be short one month or whatever, I'm going to go to that money and I'm going to grab it. And then this way, there's no way I can have access to this money because I already gave it to this person. And until it's my turn to get the money, 
not unless I get the first number or like the first ones but it's always better to get the last ones because like that is like you're saving 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 and then towards the end you receive your money that's better a lot of people and like I said it depends on the dates so if this condina started around Christmas of course I'm gonna want to have the first number or if it started in June or July of course I'm gonna get the first numbers as well because I need the money for the uniforms for my kids and yeah so a lot of you have been asking what's a condina and this is what a condina is and this is um, how I can get through um, a lot of the times I try to get at least two condinas or actually four condinas in a year so one is for Christmas holidays one is for uniforms um, all that stuff and another one is for my renewal of my work permit um, and then the other one what's my other big big purpose I think that's it I think that's it so yeah um i'm glad i was able to explain that mm, as you can see my paycheck number two for november exceeded the amount that i made um i don't worry again i'm gonna receive the condina which i didn't use on the income because i i wanna i have other purposes for that money i'm gonna have to grab 248 don't get me wrong but I might be able to not use it and instead just wait for the fifth so I can pay like the dentist for example maybe from Valerie I have another month maybe I can extend this one for paycheck one on December uh, maybe I don't spend the $300 so we'll see I mean things can change um, this is why we budget right so we can know what's coming and all of that so this is it guys i'm just thinking hopefully i didn't miss anything um i don't think so so yep that's it so thank you guys thank you thank you oh one more thing don't forget if you are still watching this video don't forget, I am doing a giveaway for um, cash envelopes and two items of Erin Condrit. Not big, um, not fancy or anything, but it's a little something. I wanted to thank you all for supporting me. And um, if you were subscribed from the beginning, you can join as well. Um, so yeah, make sure you don't miss that giveaway. I'll link it um some um at the end of the video so you'll be able to see it and just click on it so thank you again for watching once again i'll see you guys on my next video bye bye